Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this really simple baseboard. Sure, you could just go buy a baseboard, but a lot of it's $2 a linear foot or more. And so this ends up a little bit cheaper. This is just a three quarter inch MDF. And to make this, you basically just need a table saw or track saw or a circular saw with a fence, whatever you have that can cut straight, and a 3 8 inch round over bit with the accompanying router. Now, for this specific profile, I've got the table saw fence set at three inches from the blade, but of course you could alter this depending on how, depending on the uh, profile that you want for this, whether you want it uh, to sit taller against the wall or narrower. For me, this is pretty good, and actually the room this is going in already has a bunch of this. I just didn't make enough, needed another small batch, so we're going to make some. So for the batch I'm making today, I just have one of these two foot by four foot project panels from Home Depot. Definitely not the cheapest way to get MDF, but I don't need very much. And so I didn't want to buy a full four by eight sheet. But if you have a lot to do with this piece here, cutting three inch strips and accounting for the kerf of the table saw blade, I should end up with seven four foot long strips. And that'll work out to about a dollar per linear foot. Obviously this will be paint grade, not stain grade, that would be a lot more, but for the room this is going in, it's all paint anyway. So the four by eight sheet, I don't remember the exact price, but I'm guessing it would end up about 75 cents per linear foot. So not a bad way to go, and it doesn't take very long to make. I've set the height of the blade to be just barely higher than the surface of the MDF. It's already set for the three inch width, so we are ready to start cutting strips. Okay, for the router, uh, this part's pretty easy. It's just a, a 3 8 round over bit, just slightly proud of the router base. I don't know, maybe a 16th, somewhere in there. For the actual routing, I've got two strips of the MDF clamped to each other. And the reason for that is, if you look down here at the bearing and the retaining screw on the router bit, it comes down just a little bit past what the thickness of one strip would be. So this gives me the clearance to run the bit and I'm actually just clamped onto the one of the leaves of my table saw. It gives me the clearance to run the bit and not have any danger of the tip of the router bit hitting the table or not being able to sit flush with the surface of the wood. And if you do happen to use this method, make sure that your clamps that are holding the wood down are far enough away that the base of your router can still clear that. This is one operation where a router table would probably be a lot easier. Uh, mine just isn't set up right now. And just like that, I've got 16 feet of baseboard ready to go, which should be enough to finish this particular job. And if it isn't, I've got enough uh, left over there to do another 12 feet, I think. Yeah, another 12 feet. So now I just need to get it installed. go all ready to uh, prime and paint it was cheap and easy and looks pretty decent I think
So thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of the things we do in this shop, please subscribe. See ya.